I think Dylan is in a great spot right now. You can tell that he, his maturity um, is a very big deal for us, um, his mindset towards the game, and, and he's putting in a lot of work, and he's extremely dedicated to making sure that we have a good stage. He's in that mindset right now where he's refusing to let these series get away from us, and so he's taking on as much of a leadership role as he can, um, and I think that's very good for us right now. You know, our, our biggest issue, we, we've talked about a lot, is that we're really inconsistent right now. Whether it's, you know, sometimes we're afraid of making mistakes, sometimes it feels like, you know, we're going too fast or going too slow with our plays. Dylan has been working hard to try to keep that consistent. I'm trying to bring, like, the dynamic up. I'm trying to bring, like, confidence up to everybody because I, I don't get nervous myself. I've been, I've been playing professionally for a long time now, so I don't get nervous, I don't get scared of anything. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lead the team in a way to be aggressive, to be confident, to do plays that they, they should not be scared of and we're trusting each other. It's one of those things where people see him giving his all everywhere, uh, whether it's in practice, out of practice, in match. He has a winner's mentality right now and it's good to see him with his confidence back. Last season I, I had no confidence in myself as a player because I was really down. Uh, and now I'm at a, at a peak where I know that my confidence is back and that I can pretty much match any other player in the league and that I can hold up my own to anyone. So I want to like prove to myself and anyone out there that I, I am not a, a bad player. I'm a good player and I'm a good teammate. I want to do great this season. I don't want to reproduce a bad season we had last year. I just want to win and I'm going to do everything to win. And I just, I don't mind if I, if I do mistakes, I don't mind if I lose, because I'm just going to learn from that and I'm just going to play better every single time. This week was definitely an odd week for us. It's the first time they've really only had to prep for one team rather than having to worry about two different strategies or two different styles um, or two different map pools. We had uh, a handful of people getting sick, including myself. Some people not able to be in the office because they didn't want to be contagious around everybody else. We had some scheduling conflicts and some practice cancellations. There's just a lot of weird stuff that kind of happened this week that made, made the week just feel a little odd. Yeah, so obviously the structure we have is important because we need to have those fallbacks whenever things go wrong and we have a structure that supports each other and supports the players well enough that when times are tough we're there to help them out with whatever they need. So going in with a few problems this week, a little bit uh, people getting sick, people getting stressed out, worried about the match, uh, we were there trying to be as consistent as possible. The last couple days we were able to get some really solid practice in and really able to focus on you know those maps. They speak French, thinking I can't understand them, but I know. You don't have no idea what I'm saying. Uh, we are watching the Shanghai Chengdu match, uh, trying to get a beat on, uh, make, make sure that our scouting notes are good for, for tomorrow's match. So we have a good idea of what they're going to do, we're just double checking our homework. There definitely is a, a pretty big advantage being able to see our opponents play a day before we have to play them, especially on some of the maps that we have to play them on. It means that we're able to see a lot of strategies and tendencies uh, that they do on these maps. I think it gave us a little bit of an advantage just because we knew what they're going to run in different like situations and we kind of had that knowledge going into the match. And that uh, kind of allows us to do some kind of counterplays and just get an idea of, of how they use their abilities on that specific map. So it was definitely a cool thing, um, definitely something that uh, you don't get every week. Uh, so we took advantage of it while we had the opportunity. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Overwatch League. It's time to round out the day. We have one final match for you and it uh, has the potential to be a banger. We got the Shanghai Dragons going up against the Dallas Fuel. Uh, we went in feeling like we could win this. And we felt really good about the match itself. I think some people uh, were a little uneasy just because uh, of a lot of the unfortunate things that happened during the week with people being sick and some of our practices getting cut off because of cancellations and scheduling stuff. It was clear we were a little bit stressed out because we know we have a chance at making playoffs and we really want to make every win count. And with our map differential being what it is, it was important for us to win and win hard. Uh, we definitely felt confident, we felt we were the better team going in. So going into this matchup, we really wanted to find a decisive victory over Shanghai. Today is our day! All right, when we walk out there, we have control of this series, okay? We trust each other, we have confidence, okay? We can adapt on the fly. 
We do whatever it takes to win. All right? So this is our series. Three, two, one. Win streak! Ready to take to the stage. Let's go ahead and bring them out, ladies and gentlemen. The Dallas Fuel. Nice target still to get that flip. Cops are going lower, lower. Going to be pooped on this side. The primal range from OG. Taken out too. The ACAM is doing that damage tight for the grab. Grab comes in. They lock up Gomsu. Nice. Maybe we, never going to get it. Another grab for ACAM. Number Luffy. ACAM throws in the grab. Uncle Zoe yeah. holding yeah. on to his opponent. Oh, they might not even need it because the kills are just spilling board for the Dallas Fuels. They look to close things out with a 2 0. Ding with the ball. Oh, manages to find OG, but no. can't make it back into the middle hey. of the point in Wait. time. Wait, Elios is our home. Elios is our home, boy. Oh, yes, it's our city okay. state. Never. Too late. Now the shatter's in. It's a big one. Gomsu locks him up. Double kill with the charge. Pape in the way. The pin, but now he's going lower. The counter grab comes through. They get the tag onto the cart, but there's no one there to follow up. Unko manages to clean up one on the Luffy, but the Shanghai Dragons drain down the clock as they pick up a win to tie the series. Coming in at halftime, I think the players were a little flustered with how Noombani ended. Um, definitely felt like we should have won that map, or that we could have had a, a serious advantage in that map. Like, overall, our, we're overestimating them a little too much at, towards the end of Noombani, I think. Way overestimating their ults. Like, we're in control, we got this, so just take a breath, but chill out, and play our game, okay? Gonna be gone! Shatter gonna be dropped in, doesn't really catch anybody, but it might not matter. They're ticking up on the point, no one from the fuel can really step onto it. They finally contest it for a half a second, but the Dragons will be able to close it out. Shatter comes in, but it's Dallas Fuel who are turning the fight around. Four kills going their way, RCK pushing forward. Manages to help find the kill there on the Luffy. The team wipe comes through. Still managed to claw back one kill on a Gamsu. The shatter. shatter from OG, absolutely massive. Gets the pin kill on a Youngjin. Follows up on the Luffy in the back. OG, he punches his way through. The cart gonna start rolling oh, no, in. No, 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 so no, 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 he's gonna no, no, die no. before he can arrive to contest it. Oh, that's a good f***ing job, guys. <laughs> Biggest concern you ever have in an overtime defense is, oh, we are just never going to be efficient. But the EMP is going to look to shut down Luffy. Does have that. Transcendence ready to go. EMP going to come out. Transcendence ready to go. EMP going to come out. Yeah, he's going to die. Look to close it out. Just got to wait for that cart to start advancing. Takes a while. There you go. Let's get her. Oh, let's go. Young Jin Koma. Need I name more? They've All going to be taken down. That's the first round of the poll. Going the way of the Dallas Fuel. Straight into the grab. Keeps everybody topped up for the moment. Zachary taking a lot of damage. Shatter going to be coming through. Locks up Ding. Locks up a few more here into the front. He's going to take himself out as he stands up the right click. The pin comes through from Gamsu. And as it expires, as he gets the hit, it takes down. And the Dallas Fuel. They take it all the way to game five. They win it 2-0 on the ball. This is just one. It was it was such a roller coaster of emotion because the whole match just felt like so uh, back and forth. It was such a tight series. It was just the most stressful experience I think I've ever had watching Overwatch. Up to Dorado, it was a really stressful stressful one because we were making so many mistakes and then we came back and won it. And it was it was actually looking back on it, it was actually really fun. Um, but in the moment, it was definitely very stressful. I think one of the most impressive things about our guys is how level-headed they are, even like when faced with like these tough matchups. Like the guys are really resilient and really impressed me how focused they stayed and how in the game, in the moment they stayed during the whole match. I, I was extremely proud to see our players pull it through. Now since we know that it was a tight series, we know that if it ever gets to that point where we are under the pressure again, we will be able to pull it through. We did it boys. Yeah. That's what matters. Oh. Let's go play okay. off. Alright, yeah, we, now we have a real shot at making the playoffs, okay? Um, so even though this one was a dirty 3-2, <laughs> thank, thank Mr. Youngjin. Yeah, thank you, Youngjin. We've got a lot of mistakes we've got to clean up for next time, um, but we'll focus on that later, okay? So it's a little bit weird uh, facing the same team twice in a week, back to back, week to week. Number one thing is we can't underestimate them. Obviously, we know we can beat them. Uh, we made some mistakes I think we're going to look to clean up and make it a more decisive victory, but we can't underestimate their ability to improve as a team and their ability to potentially change their style uh, to work against us. So we're going to be doing a lot of prep, making sure we're on the top of our game.